Hi, so it's the 24th of September, 2006, and I'm out on a bike ride here in New Jersey. Uh, welcome to my mobile podcast and video cast. Uh, hold on one second. I'm out here on the Palisades today uh, in New Jersey above the George Washington Bridge. Enjoying a bike ride today. Kind of uh, got a rhythm going where I take a bike ride on Sunday and think about what I'm going to be doing all week in school. So uh, that's where we are. That's what I'm thinking about. This is how I do my planning. Not bad, right? Thanks for joining me. Just a second, I'll talk a little more. So with my middle school having introduced uh, the routine, if I want to call it that, I've got to call it the dance. <laughs> um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back one frame here to uh, uh, video that I put up on uh, Saturday about Friday's class with my middle school students. So what I'm thinking about for my middle school kids is, is how that routine has to be reinforced even more than it has to be for the high school. And in particular, it's the looking for correctness and maybe helping each other um, edit their work. So slowing down again, I always have to remind myself, slowing down and really having them put something up that they feel successful with, not only at the moment, but later they can show people and feel good about it. Um, so yeah, let's slow down on that routine a little bit and really um, break it down and help them look at each other's work and and uh, uh, perfect it a little more, not just uh, have the goal of getting it up, although getting it up feels really, really important too. Um, but let's get it up with some more quality this time than one of those first posts. Um, so I think I can integrate that notion still though with starting the map, the mapping. Um, kind of want to, you know, get them on the map before they start the writing though. So I'm thinking um, how to get them to put markers on and then do some writing about where that marker is. And I think that's a smart idea. So I have to plan that a little more detail. But the goal for the week will be to do a piece of writing that is really, really correct and interesting about a place that represents them in the community of Eastside and uh, New York in general as I have allowed my high school students to do. It's nice to have the high school examples out there. They can look at those, write responses to those, think about them. So yeah, I think I have a pretty clear idea of how to get those students in. Now, one of the things I'm thinking about is, oh my goodness, the problems, the issues around getting them um, onto the map in terms of uh, registering. So I, I think I want to try to do that for them. I figure that out with the eighth graders so I see on Monday tonight. So maybe they all they get is a verification email before they know anything. They're a member, <laughs> but um, all right. So that's my general aim for my sixth, seventh, and eighth grades. Work on perfecting the writing and make the writing about a special place in New York, and make it possible to both post that on the ELG so that we're starting continuing that routine, 
post that in their blogs on the elk and put it on the uh, the uh, community walk map. Yeah. Pretty happy with that idea. What I mean by them caring is uh, I want them to find something that they learn about and that they report on their learning. So why am I avoiding uh, blog lines? I'm really not, but I think it's time. I want to introduce blog lines to them. I want them to think about using blogs, finding blogs about a topic, a question of interest to them. And then within that, we can uh, just kind of slip in uh, some podcasting. Not slip in at all, but uh, yeah, I think that's right. And then so their assignment, what they want to accomplish is that they want to put up a post that refers to um, somebody's blog about a topic and that refers to uh, a podcast that they've heard about some topic. So we need to model that a little bit and uh, maybe some sentence guidelines for it. Uh, yeah. So that's a big chunk to start, but I think we want to do that. At the same time, I want them to get started with recording and uh, making a podcast. So I'm kind of torn between um, using podcasting as something to listen to and uh, creating a podcast. <sighs> and by that I mean just uh, kind of pushing the routine one more step and saying, okay, now let's record it. We have Audacity all set up and they can record there. So, uh, and then they can upload also. And I think, I think that's the place to start early in the week. And I'll get to the, uh, to the subscribing to other things uh, on Thursday, maybe even Wednesday and Thursday. And in the meantime, I gotta say, and this is kind of another section of this video, what I'm figuring out is how to uh, grab the RSS feeds in such a way that uh, we can make podcasts that can be subscribed to from the whole class. Um, I think students can have their own individual podcasts as well. Um, and I've almost figured it out. I mean, I think what we want to do is put um, MP3 files up in folders in the, on our own logins. Um, I experimented with putting them up in a community folder, but they could delete each other's then and that won't work. Um, anyway, um, the question will be how to aggregate those RSS feeds. And I think the best solution I've come up with is, uh, well, there are various aggregators we could do online. So I'm going to look into that. But I think maybe I could just not create a community, but actually create a user um, for each class and uh, use that RSS feed after I aggregate all the students into that user um, for their uh, for their their class podcast. I think that will work, and um, really want to set that up for students this week. It starts really with them getting their own short mp3 up online. Their first short podcast this year. Alright, so that's what I'm thinking about. And if you stay tuned to one of my <laughs> many faceted podcasts, vid, blogs, blogs, I'm out there all over the place. Um, you'll 
you'll uh, be able to reach me. You can uh, email me at allison, A-L-L-I-S-O-N-P-R, at gmail.com. You can see more of my uh, videos at youtube.com slash Paul R. Allison. And uh, you can uh, check out my blog and uh, our blog at uh, teachersteachingteachers.org. And Wednesday nights, please hook in with us live on uh, edtechtalk.com. That should be enough contact ways. <laughs> and they keep changing, don't they? But nature of the beast. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye now.